Welcome inside the CEC TV studios where it's time for the latest edition of Trailblazer Weekly. As always, I'm your host, Carrick Segmiller. Today we'll recap the latest men's and women's golf, softball, and women's distance track results, as well as take a, a look at the highlights from the football spring game on Saturday. Later, we'll wrap up the show with a look ahead at the next week in Trailblazer Athletics. Let's not waste any time. Let's get the show started. Trailblazer Weekly starts now. We open the show today with men's golf as the Trailblazers closed out their last their tournament last week at Stanislaus, Slate, Stanislaus State Invitational. Excuse me. Dixie State battled through the soggy conditions on their final 18-hole loop last Tuesday and posted a 19 over 307 to finish the 54-hole event at plus 30 and in seventh place. Freshman Jace Frampton paced the Trailblazers as he carded a final round 4 over 76 to finish tied for 19th, while freshman Jimmy Avis followed one position back in tied for 21st at plus 7. Staying with golf, the women's golf team finished up its, its week last Tuesday at the Western New Mexico Mustang Intercollegiate. The Trailblazers improved by 19 shots on day two and moved up two spots on the team leaderboard to finish the 36-hole event at plus 63, 639 and in 17th place. Junior Colbert Collinsworth carded DSU's low round of the season as she penciled in six birdies and route to a career-best tying two under 70 to finish tied for 19th overall, while sophomore Katie Ford fired a four over 76 to tie seven other golfers for 40th place. To the softball diamond now as the number 22 ranked softball team headed to Irvine, California for a weekend series with Concordia Irvine. The teams opened the series with a doubleheader on Friday as the Eagles scored three runs in the sixth inning to clinch a 5-1 victory in Game 1. Dixie State would bounce back in Game 2, scoring three runs in the second and in the seventh inning to take a 7-4 victory. Freshman Brenna Hink hit her first career home run in the second inning of the win. The Trailblazers and Eagles then wrapped up the series with a second doubleheader on Saturday. Dixie State trimmed a 4-0 deficit in Game 1 on Saturday to a 4-3, but Concordia answered with two runs in the fifth to hold on for a 6-3 victory. Like Friday, the Trailblazers would bounce back in Game 2 as the game went to extra innings tied at 1-1. In the eighth inning, Kenzie Sawyer blasted a 2-RBI single to give Dixie State a 3-1 win and to clinch the series split. Should note, the game, uh, the final game of the series, marked Dixie State's first extra inning game of the season. So congratulations on getting that win to earn the split. Now for their performances throughout the series and in clutch moments throughout the series, we've named Brenna Hink and Kenzie Sawyer as our Impact Player Weekly, uh, Trailblazer Weekly Impact Player. First, Brenna Hink, uh, 5 of 11 at the plate and got her first career home run. Kenzie Sawyer had the game-winning RBI double, uh, so congratulations to both of those players, our Trailblazer Weekly Softball Impact Players of the Week. To the track now as the women's distance track team headed north for the third consecutive week, this time to the Utah State Mark Faldmo Invitational in Logan, Utah on Friday and Saturday. The Trailblazers set four school records and recorded five other personal best marks at the meet. Sophomore Katie Brandon cruised to a new record in the 1500 meter with a time of 5.19.02 in her first 1500 meter race of the season. Two others set personal best marks in the 1500 meter, including freshman Casey Labram at 5.22.70 and sophomore Morgan Lacey at 5.41.43. Sophomore Rebecca Opalis set a new program record program best mark in the 400 meter hurdles with a time of 106.03, while freshman Gamil Eldridge set program records in the discus and the shot put. Eldridge logged a 24.87 in the discus and an 8.65 in the shot put. Should note, three other trailblazers set personal best marks in the 5,000 meter, including freshman Alyssa Herring and Marietta Wright, as well as sophomore Katie Brandon. To the football field now as the Trailblazers wrapped up their spring schedule with their annual spring game on Saturday at the Dixie Sun Bowl. The event featured a game style format with four 15 minute quarters and a full officiating crew. Just in case you weren't able to make it, don't worry, we've got you covered with the highlights. So sit back and relax and enjoy these highlights. Let's roll the tape.
great time on Saturday at the spring game. As you can see, a lot of great highlights. The offense and the defense both look like they're going to be very explosive this upcoming season. The football team now takes their summer break, and we'll be back at it in the fall. And when that happens, we'll be there to help cover all the action at fall camp and into the season in September. It's time now for our first break. When we come back, we'll wrap up the show with a look ahead at the next week in Trailblazer Athletics. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. I'll never forget the day our landlord called and said, read your lease. No pets allowed. My owner tells him my dog ate the lease, but that didn't work. And now I'm stuck in a shelter. But this pit bull is ready for a new crib. I'm loving, loyal, and play well with others. So don't be intimidated by all my muscles, because the biggest one I have is my heart. <laughs> That's right. I said it. There is a place where rocks bleed and nature blushes on a battlefield green with envy. Where dimples determine destiny and a tiny wooden tee holds the outcome in the balance. There is a place where friends are opponents and opponents are friends. Where the prize is elusive, the conquest is captivating and the score is unsettled till the drinks are down. There is a place. I'm a scientist. Recycling takes a team. Why don't you let me and me help you out? Everyone plays a part. Don't trash. I love taking stuff apart and building new things out of it. What could be treasure? Pal's my most advanced android. <gasps> this is awesome. You haven't seen anything yet. Give your cardboard box another life. Recycle. So... I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello? That's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek. Welcome back inside Trailblazer Weekly. Time now to wrap up our show with a look ahead at the next week in Trailblazer Athletics. Go ahead, follow along on your screen as we let you know where these events will take place. Should note right up front, no home events in the next week. In fact, no home events until April 29th when the softball team will be at home. But let's start with Wednesday, the women's tennis team qualifying for the Pacific West Conference Championships for the second season in a row. Uh, it says TBD on your screen. We do know now the Trailblazers will take on Azusa Pacific. Dixie State entering the tournament as the number 12 seed. They will take on Azusa Pacific, the number 5 seed, at 9 a.m. Arizona time on Wednesday. And that will move into Thursday. Uh, the winner of that match will play Cal State LA on Thursday afternoon uh, in Surprise, Arizona. And that is the only possible event on uh, Thursday in our next week. Moving ahead to Friday, it's a full slate on Friday as it should the women's tennis team win, they would continue to play into Friday. And then softball down to California Baptist in Riverside for a double header opening a four game series at Cal Baptist, a monumental series with possible conference championship implications uh, involved there. The baseball team back in action, they open their Hawaii trip at Hawaii Pacific in a double header on Friday. Moving into Saturday, both those teams will be back in action again with, uh, should, again, women's tennis advance. They would still be playing in Surprise, Arizona, and then softball and baseball again wrapping up their four-game series against California Baptist and Hawaii Pacific, respectively. Uh, no events on Sunday, so we move into the next week. On Monday, men's and women's golf will open Pacific West Conference Championship play. Now, the women's tournament will be played in Laie, Hawaii, while the men's tournament will be played in Kahuku, Hawaii, and then that will continue into Tuesday and Wednesday when they wrap up those events and those championships. Of course, Dixie State, the men's team, trying to back up their back-to-back uh, -back conference titles. They see if they can make it a three-peat. It's a, it's a tall task. Uh, baseball will also be in action on Tuesday and a doubleheader at Hawaii Hilo. 
That'll do it for today's show. We thank you for watching. Remember, you can catch all episodes of Trailblazer Weekly on demand on the Dixie State Athletics YouTube page. Enjoy your week. We'll see you next time on Trailblazer Weekly.